A 30-year-old woman from Fairport living with a rare genetic disease is now turning to the community for help. She is searching for someone to donate a portion of their liver to her, something she says that could ultimately save her life. It has been a three-year endeavor, but as News 8's Melanie Higgins reports, she's not giving up. My name is Laura Colby and I have a metabolic disorder called maple syrup urine disease or MSUD for short. A rare disorder Laura was diagnosed with at birth. I just wasn't consuming any formula or even milk, nothing, and it was becoming very deadly. As the name suggests, MSUD is an inherited disease that makes the urine smell sweet. It means there's a defect in three enzymes that help the body break down protein from food. Um, with this disorder, I have a very weak immune system. Um, so that is very impactful in my life. Well, according to researchers, MSUD affects about one in every 150,000 babies born worldwide. And once newborns are diagnosed, immediate intervention is usually required or the disease can become fatal. That's why Laura now has to make a six hour trip to see a specialist. And my parents and everyone found my clinic in Pennsylvania, reached out to um, Dr. Morton, who was my original doctor who saved my life and he told us to get down there right away. Now in search of a living donor, Laura says she and her family have had a lot of close calls, but over the last three years hasn't gotten very far. So she's taken her pleas to social media where she hopes someone will step up and donate a portion of their liver. I won't know who they are, but if it is a match and we schedule the surgery, I very, very much appreciate anyone registering and trying to help me move forward with my life and, you know, get married and, you know, start a family and get a house. Those looking to help can register at livingdonorreg.upmc.com. Reporting, Melanie Higgins, News 8. Melanie, thank you very much. Inspiring story there. We will have a link to that over on our website on rochesterfirst.com.